What's up everyone? Tanker Wildman on the way to uh, O'Reilly to pick up new carburetor. So we uh, we ran into some problems with the uh, the adjustment screw on the needle and seat for the carburetor that's in it and some sticking issues with the throttle body where at wide open throttle it sticks and it doesn't go back to zero. Um, that's a problem and uh, you don't want that to happen while you're just, you know, riding down the road and uh or at a stoplight for that matter hit somebody and run yourself into a wall and you're just not gonna have a good time so we're pulling into o'reilly now and we're gonna pick up another carburetor got that on the shelf called them earlier and said hey this is what we need they've got it oh, we've got it uh we gotta pick it up now and we're gonna show you guys how to install and adjust that so we've got edelbrock carburetor we're gonna wire this thing up got some strippers and a crimper here inline fuel filter and a surprise from Tremaine. I don't know if you guys remember him. If you guys are OGs, you know this guy. We uh, we went to his, uh, what was it, your friend's shop, your shop, Alex's shop. Um, we very first started YouTube. They uh, sent us a message, said, hey, we got some 350Z parts. Come on by. We gave him a call and yeah. 3 is fuel line. Oh, uh, you guys got that? Fuel line and clips. Clamps. Ooh, those are fun. But yeah, the world comes line? around, man. Aisle five. There we go. You guys are coming along for the ride on the O'Reilly trip. Hey, look for the ceramic paint. Ceramic. Right there. Ah, this yeah. caliper? All right. We painting the brake calipers too? Ooh, all sorts of paints. Same We're picking thing. up some, uh, some high speed clamps here. They got the little butterfly things on there you can twist. Unlike uh, these right here, we got to stick a screwdriver in there. We're going to make it easier on ourselves. You want blue? Uh, get them red because that's the color of the Camaro. Get them all red? Yeah. I was thinking, and bear with me on this, we take your spark plug wires off and your valve covers off and clean them up today too. Oh, yeah. And the air cleaner. Ooh, I haven't even seen that air cleaner yet. Yeah, it's burgundy. Ooh, all sorts of insider information. That's a Moroso. Oh, now we're just going to sit over here and play with the oil. Like little kids. All right, little kids. You see that? Doesn't touch the top. See this oil comes over there, touches the top. That's good oil. Lucas oil. Get you some Lucas oil. All right, so we're back at the Camaro. Got the carburetor, some fuel line, Craftsman Impact, uh, inline fuel filter, uh, some hose clamps with the butterfly clip so that it's easier to twist on, and some wire stripper and crimpers because this uh, carburetor does not have a choke, but this carburetor has an electric choke that we're going to be wiring up. Make our job a little bit neater. Picked up one of those. Wild man's already removing the fuel line from this side of the carburetor. So that means what I'm gonna be doing is removing the mounting and the linkage. All right, carburetor's off. Here's the intake manifold. We're gonna take this gasket off. Now my hand's dirty. I didn't want to get it dirty. <laughs> And there comes the gasket. No, nope. this nope. bad boy. No, nope. we got stuff there. Comes with a new gasket. We got stuff there. Man. We gotta clean it off. All right, we're gonna clean up this gasket surface and uh, start installing this carburetor. So we're using the Dremel again to uh, clean up this gasket surface, kind of like we did when we were rebuilding the carburetor. That'll make that a shiny uh, flat surface for us to work with. It's like an operation, except you don't get electrocuted. Gosh, it's so much faster than a screwdriver. So the easy part here is done. Uh, now what we've got to do is connect the fuel line, wire up this uh, electric choke here, make sure all these vacuum lines have a home, and connect the linkage before we can crank this thing over. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how that all works out. And you guys will be along for that process. All right, so I'm gonna take some time to explain these vacuum lines uh, real quick. Um, luckily over here our linkage fits perfectly um, we don't have to mess with the linkage that was what we were afraid of that this was gonna be too short or too long and it wouldn't fit it fits perfect that's great so uh, first off this vacuum line right here goes to the distributor it's the vacuum advance uh, which helps when this creates vacuum helps spin the distributor gives you a little bit better throttle this right here it's for your PCV valve. Uh, unfortunately, 
Ours is just a little bit too short. Um, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Awesome. PCV valve is now connected. This one right here is for the modulator valve on the transmission. Now, I don't believe we have a hookup for that, so we're probably just going to be capping that off. There's another one like this one around back that goes to your power brake booster. That's that line right there you can see running along to the power brake booster. That'll connect to the back. We have to find a fitting that'll go in there. And next, what we're gonna have to do is down here, you'll see at the top of this fuel filter, we're gonna have to replace this line, run it all the way up here and into the fuel inlet. Uh, once that's done, we're going to have to take these two wires right here, your positive and your negative. So this will be your ground. You can connect it honestly to one of these screws right here and it'll be perfectly fine. A screw up there, uh, anywhere on this. I mean, anything metal. Um, this positive will have to go to probably this wire what we'll probably have to take this boot off right here and run that wire to that alternator boot because this positive needs to only be activated when the key is turned and, and that is what the uh, power wire on your alternator does we could also wire it up to the wire on the ignition the hot wire on the ignition um, that is a possibility for us, but we don't quite have enough wire to run it into the cab. So we're going to go on to the alternator. So all the vacuum lines in the front are hooked up. I have capped off the power booster uh, vacuum uh, area right now because we don't have a fitting for it. Um, next, I'm going to be working on this hose clamp right here to get that and this hose right here out of there so I can route this new hose to that right there, stick some of those fancy hose clamps on there and be done with that so we can move on to this right here, these really easy uh, positive and negative connections right there. And I think by the time I get all that done, Wildman might be done with the linkage. <laughs> all right, fuel filter with this fuel line is connected to the carburetor. We've got both wires connected to the electric uh, choke. Negative is hooked back up to a good ground. And the positive is getting hooked up to this right here. Uh, we're having some trouble getting, because there's two nuts on there, we gotta get one off and hold the other one. Um, so that way this does not spin and break. Um, that is our current problem. Wildman did actually get the linkage on before I could get done with everything, so kudos to him. We are almost ready to start this thing up. All right, we've got everything hooked up. Battery's back hooked up. The choke is on the alternator. Everything should be wired the way it's supposed to go. And now we crank it till we get some fuel going up in this uh, fuel filter so we know it's flowing. And we will see if this thing cranks up and how great she runs. Oh, I'm ready. I was born ready, man. See if our contraption works. Whoa! No! But there was some black fuel coming up through the, uh, the filter. The fuel, the, fil the, the fuel that came up through the filter was black originally. Go stand behind it and I'll do that. 
you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. Unless that's just how your head is set. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we need that spring on there. Yep. Where and then we it? need to adjust this up Where's just a little bit. We don't have one. Why? All right, so as you can see, we got the Camaro up and running and running amazing. Uh, stay tuned for whatever the heck we're going to do with our lives in the near future. The Camaro is going to be part of it. Um, we got a Bronco and that Dually as well. Um, I'm going to be doing a turbo uh taking it off, putting a new one on on the Miata. So you guys take it easy, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a great night. Good night, hot rods.